The U.S. national women's soccer team just lost the World Cup finals. Twelve years ago, the U.S. women's team won the World Cup, and one of those players is now a coach with the Tampa Bay United Hellenic soccer team. Multimedia journalist Kimberly Cuizan has this story. On this wall are pictures of days past from great moments in soccer history. You know, this has been 12 years now without one. Um, it, it's one of those things that every player on that team, if anything short of a world championship, uh, would be utter disappointment for them. That moment George Fotopoulos flashes back to is the moment his wife, Danielle, who was actually in Germany for the games, won the World Cup with the 1999 U.S. Women's National Soccer Team. Twelve years later, Danielle now coaches rising soccer players on the team. Tampa Bay United Hellenic team with her husband George. Having her on our side, it's awesome. Um, her experience, what she teaches us, just all of us look up to her and it, because she's been where everyone wants to be. Stacy Bishop and some teammates say with experience has also come a harsh reality. We don't get much support. Men's soccer is a lot more respected, like within money, within gear, anything. Players say times are changing, and this trip to the 2011 Women's Soccer World Cup is the reason why. No one knew about the World Cup. Like, they didn't know the USA was playing or any game was going on whatsoever. Now you can see like bars having, you know, sponsoring the games and restaurants saying, come watch the World Cup finals here. And while the support has grown, players say they will always fight to keep women's soccer in the spotlight. I like a challenge. And when I was little, I used to play with guys. So it's always fun to see the look on their face when they get beat by a girl. My wife and I always say the same thing. We have a 10 year old daughter. We want to make sure that uh, we make it better for her than it was for my wife. In Tampa, Kimberly Cuizon, ABC Action News.